this chapter, we will focus on the charges imposed on the credit card holders, the consumers. The following is common practice in Malaysia. Credit card holders are given 20 days from the statement date to pay the outstanding amount. If you fully paid the amount by this date, then you are given the credit interest free. If you do not want to fully pay off the amount, you must pay a minimum of 5% of the outstanding amount, or at least 50 ringgit. Let's look at this example. Noraida bought a TV set for 2,400 ringgit on 24th April. There is no other transactions for the month April. Her credit card statement date is 1st May. What is the minimum amount she has to pay by 20th May? Since there is no other transactions in April, we assume the outstanding balance in her credit card statement is 2,400 ringgit. To get the minimum payment, we take 5% of the outstanding amount, which is 120 ringgit. Now this amount is greater than 50 ringgit, so she needs to pay 120 ringgit for minimum payment. If she fails to do that, she will be charged late payment fee. If she only makes minimum payment of 120 ringgit, then the outstanding balance in her credit card is 2,400 minus 120, which is 2,280 ringgit. This amount will be charged an interest of 15 to 18%, which is very high. Zyton's credit card statement date is 5th January, and the outstanding balance in her credit card statement is 850. What is the minimum amount she has to pay by 25th January to avoid late payment charge? The outstanding balance is 850. The minimum payment is 5% of 850, which is 42 ringgit. 50 cent. Now this amount is less than 50 ringgit. So the minimum amount to pay is 50 ringgit to avoid late payment charge. If she only pay the minimum amount of 50 ringgit, her outstanding balance will be 850 minus 50, which is 800. And this 800 ringgit will be subject to 15 to 18% of interest.